So what's the difference between setting goals from your heart versus setting them with your head? When you set goals, the only function your goals should have is to make you feel excited, giddy, happy, you know, like a little kid, like, oh yeah, that sounds fun. But in life, people tell us, you need to do this, you need to do that, you have to do this, you should do that, this is the way you should live, and we have many traumatic things happen to us and then a lot of the times we set our goals in our head from that wounded place of you know where we were wounded something bad happened and we don't want it to happen again so a lot of people for example they have a goal to make a lot of money but it's not like you know oh my god i'm gonna make a lot of money it's gonna be so much fun you know nobody thinks like that it's like uh, I'm gonna have a lot of money and then people won't be able to hurt me anymore because I'll have so much money that I won't be able to get hurt. In reality, it would actually be a lot more dangerous to live a life with a shitload of money because you won't know who your friends are. You don't know who to trust. Everybody's trying to jack you and shit. So that's really not the kind of path you want to take. Now, I'm not saying money is not important and that you shouldn't want to make a shitload of money. But notice where your goals are coming from. Notice if they're goals from the head or from the heart. The head goals, not only won't they get you motivated and won't be fun to get to, they would actually not fulfill you when you get them because your head tells you, yeah, you'll be happy, you'll feel good, yeah, it will be good. But if you need your head to convince you that when you have the goal, you'll be happy and will feel good, you're, it just, it's just a lie, basically. Your ego is trying to make you do something that you really wouldn't have done if you weren't wounded. But when you think about goals from that are love goals, you know, from your, your heart, um, you think about them and again, you get happy. You instantly feel good. It's not like you need to wait and you'll feel good when you have it. You feel good just thinking about it, you know? For example, I'll give you one goal that I have. I, goal, I have a goal to be really, really famous, to be really successful and famous and I want all the people around the world to know me and I want to have over a billion views in my YouTube videos and over 10 million subscribers. That's my goal. But it's not a goal that's like, yeah, when I have that fame, everybody's gonna see, I'm gonna show them. Nah, 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 I'm gonna have this. It's like a kid, it's like, you know, it's like, oh my God, this is exciting, this sounds fun. I want to, you know, I want to know what will happen. Now, of course, do you think that if somebody has you know, a billion views and is super famous. Do you think that this person does not have access to a shitload of money? Okay, so the money comes very naturally. But again, I focus on the fun, the love, the growth. Okay, just as one goal of mine. All of my goals are like that. So make sure you look into that. Again, does the goal tell me one day I'll be happy in the future, you know, and stop being wounded? which will, by the way, only reinforce you being a wounded person, or is the goal fun, happy from the heart, you enjoy it already, you'd like just thinking about it, and that it makes you happy, okay? Make sure you look into it. I'll make more videos in the future regarding that subject. Thank you for watching. Please tell me if you have any questions.